Yeah, thousands of people have been forced to evacuate their homes because of these fires. Some sadly have already lost everything, including John and Ariel Combs. Their home was destroyed in the Beckworth Complex fire, and you're looking at images of what is left of their house. And John is joining me live on the phone right now. John, I am very sorry for your loss. Looking at these images, it is just devastating. Um, are your family and, and those you love taken care of now and okay? Yeah, we, we got out all safe. Uh, got my family and my animals out. It's just, it, it was hard. <laughs> How much time did you have to get out? Well, I, we knew the fire was coming for a, a little ways. I, I, I stood on my roof for three days, watering it down, watering out the property and stuff, just try to slow it down a little bit. But within those three days, I mean, we didn't see any air support at all. But so we had a little bit of time to get, uh, get prepped up and ready for it. What were you able to take with you? We took, I took, you know, we got some food, the family, of course, you know, got, you know, firearms. <laughs> but uh, just uh, the animals got, you know, a little bit of clothes and stuff. But, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. How long have you When you have you nowhere to go, it's kind of hard to, you know, pack up a bunch of stuff. Where are you staying, John? Where am I staying? I'm staying with a family member of my cousin, Lisa. Okay. Uh, in terms of your house and how long you'd lived there, what this place meant to you. Um, ex explain to us how difficult this has been. It, it's, it's hard. You know, all my, my kids grew up there. We, I've been there for almost nine years now. And my kids, they just keep telling me, I want to go home, I want to go home. And it, that's the hardest part is trying to explain to them, hey, there's no home to go to. Yeah. Well, what is your plan at this point? I'm got to bounce back. You got to, you, you, you can't just live, you know, the sun's still going to rise and the world's still spinning. Now you got to bounce back. I just got to keep going. You got to be strong for them. So I just get another place and work from there, you know, start do, at the bottom. Do you plan to rebuild, John? I plan to, I, I plan to rebuild. I'm not giving up. Yeah. How are, how are your neighbors doing? The, the neighbors, they're, they're all right. It, as weird as it sounds, like my house got burnt and everything around me was okay. It, it, it just kind of like weaved through me and then went to the next street and took out a whole street. A guy snook his house and my father and mother-in-law, they lost their house uh, down the, the street. It just, it just kind of weaved through right through mine. Well, John, I know that you're going through a tough time. We sure do appreciate you giving us uh, a few moments and, and walking us through what you experienced. Our best to you and your family and everybody around you. And I know you've got a tough road ahead, um, so good luck with everything. All right, thank you. Thank you. John Combs uh, lost, lost his home. He and his wife and four kids had to evacuate the Beckworth Fire in California.